of wonder why we're here. I thought it was just for a game or something. Yeah, okay, but well, it's Everett's Cottage, so... Wait, wasn't it an Everett's Cottage? Well, yeah, but well, it's his dad, so I guess it's the same. But uh, the, why did, did Batman buy the scissors to begin with? I guess we'll know. So, the well, reason that, that we'll I summon you all here, thank you very much, in Todoroki's expensive cottage is because I want you guys to play a game, the Night of Horror, I guess. It's kind of a D&D &D type of game, and I choose what's going to happen to you without any dice. So, we have no saying this? Quiet! Please trash this place, my father would hate it. No, no one's gonna trash this place. Let's go! It's locked. I break the door. No, it's an old wooden house. You're gonna burn it down. I use my cork and open the door. I follow them. Good, you activated a trap and you die. What? No, why am I the only one dying? Cause I decide. Bro, let him play a while at least. Fine, you survive. But you have a broken arm now. Shouldn't be too far from reality for you, you know. Anyway, congrats. You should probably all soon die anyway, or whatever. You have two doors in front of you now. One on your right and one on your left, and you have a staircase. What do you do? Yeah, should we split up? Uh, that's don't a bad idea. That's a good idea. So, what are you gonna do? I call out to see if there's anyone. <laughs> so you're basically just like, if there's a murderer, clap your hands? Yes. You hear a clap. <gasps> Fuck it. I go left with you now. We have more chances of surviving. I agree. I come too. Uh, I'll break the rookie then. I wanted to go upstairs. Shh. We're dead. You enter a kitchen. It looks in decay. What do you do? It's very unsanitary, even for a murderer. Again, that's not the point. Is there food? If there is, you probably don't want to eat it. I mean, if it's canned food, though. Whatever. If there's a knife, I grab one. You find a knife! You're smart. I grab one, too. There is no more knives. Aw, oh, come on, catch on. I take the fridge. There's blood in it and a lot of human body parts. I close the fridge. I think it's time we should leave the kitchen then. Yeah. yeah. You're back at the entrance now. You can either go right or up. I'm gonna go up the stairs. You go up the stairs. Uh, halfway a stair breaks. You hit your head, you fall, and then you die. Gotcha, no, why? Fine, then solve this math problem like 252 times a hundred and minus fifty-three x twelve. Uh, you stay dead! Anyway, you all have to die at some point. Then what's the point of playing your game? Shut up, half and half! Well, I guess Midoriya proved the stairs are unsafe. So, I go right. I follow, I guess. Yeah. Okay, quick, solve this problem. Two plus two. Uh. Four! That is so unfair. Kiri, you survive. An axe falling directly in front of your face. <laughs> I take the axe. Okay, six times five. Thirty-five. You now have an axe and a knife. Why? You enter the living room. At some point, you start to explore. You find the murderer. He takes you by surprise. Quick! What are you gonna do? 
I take flight, I run away. You try to run away, but you trip, and then you die. Wait, I don't even get a math problem? Dead people don't talk. Wait, how fast is the killer if you got Ida at all? He's not human, he's like a demon. No matter what that demon can do, it can be worse than my father. Are you alright? Man, that was fucking depressing. I go for the stairs. I jump over Deku's body and the stair that he broke. Up the stair, a little girl walks away. Is she alright? She's with a murderer. We should take her with us. I set her on fire. What? But she's a little girl! No, I agree. I swing my axe at her. She's another demon. You throw the axe at her. She grabs it and throws it back to you. Toroki dies. Finally. Actually, never mind. You're too happy about that. So, you use your fire or ice or whatever and you survive. Ugh, the agony continues. Uraka, solve this problem. What's the capital city of Canada? What? I'm sorry, but you die. You were a valiant soldier, but she got you. So your body fall, falls down the stairs and goes join to join her crush or whatever. My what? Is that? Okay, I see Hot and Kiri. You're the only two remaining. What do you do? You're finally up the stairs. Is there a window? I guess there's one in front of you. I threw myself out of it. What? All right. You throw yourself out and die. The demon is thanking you for making it easier, I guess. They're welcome. How did I manage to live so far? Mm, I wonder. I wonder. Mm -hmm. Well, you're the only one left. What's your next action? Is my core ghostproof? I'm not answering that. Left or right? Left. Okay, so you go right. There's a door. What do you do? I break it. It wasn't locked, but I guess that you just killed the vampire next door since you broke a wooden door and it stabbed it. So on the other side, there's an exit. What are you doing? I go back downstairs. So you're taking the exit. Okay, one more question. What's my favorite type of food? Anything spicy. Congrats! You survived! You left the place, everything catches on fire, but you don't look back because you're manly. I see you're totally not biased towards your crush. What crush? Shut up! Congrats on all you idiots dying anyway. Except for you, Kirishima. Yay. I'm so glad, but at the same time I'm sad because I'm the only one remaining. It's not as if we had a choice. You actually did have a choice, but... You decided to die anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe and whatever the rest is. Wait, Wait who are you talking, talking to, bro? Right?